Mm-hmm. Craig, PA hosted Bologna tonight. How many touchdowns do you say? Oh, uh, over under, I'd say at least 10. 10? Mm-hmm. Okay, well, we won't say 10, but let's check out the highlights. All right, here we I'll go. I'll tell you this. Bruins lead 8 to nothing. Michael Atkinson. I love it when people say chunks it. This is a chunk right That's here. A chunk right Ooh, here. Nice spiral. Chunks Michael. it to Jake Stewart. 8-7 at that point. Game was all highlights. Jalen Seals. Uh, he's in the uh, highlight reel. Nice, shifty move there. Look at this. Look at that kid. Yeah, Eagles all about trick plays, though. How about Houston Cotton? Tricks them all. Oh. He's in the end zone. He even tricked me. Lawson Vassar. Vassar Lawson telegraphs. I mean, everybody saw this one coming, Boom. including Stevie Wonder and Hunter Henry <laughs> as he brings in the touchdown. Let's check out the final on this one. PA wins big, and I do mean big. 62-21. I came close. Is your final. Cabot. At home. Postseason edition, week one of the playoffs. And, you know, in 5A, uh, defending champ Pulaski Academy looks to be the odds on favorites to win it there in 5A. But standing in their way tonight, Valonia. But Eagles, their job made a lot harder by having to play in the Bruins den. Tim Keltzner, he is live there for us, cover this one. And I'll tell you, all Valonia could do tonight was they couldn't stop PA. They could only hope for containment. Could they do it, Tim? Absolutely. Absolutely, David. That's what Coach Stanley said before the game. He said, you know, I wish I had an answer on how to stop Pulaski Academy, but he did a pretty good job in the first quarter. It was tied 14-all, 14, 14 but that's when the Bruins stepped on the gas. Pulaski Academy doing Bruin-like things early on in this one against Bologna. They marched right down the field, but the Eagles had the answer in the first quarter. A little trickery, the halfback pass over the top. These two teams tied at 14 at the end of one. That's when PA broke out the big guns. How about Hunter Henry? The Arkansas commit had a very nice first half. Three touchdowns, and then the defense took over from there. This was a big play. Quarterback drops back, slips, loses the football. That's Hunter Harris scooping it up for the score. Was the quarterback down? Looked like it, but they didn't call it. That's a touchdown for the Bruins. And then again, Hunter Henry back in the end zone. PA wins this one 62 to 21. Nice win for the Bruins. They picked up a, a big second half of momentum there, and they got a chance to rest some of their starters going into their next round matchup. But you got to love what you saw from Hunter Henry tonight. Three touchdowns in the first half. They just kind of lobbed it up in the air, and, you know, Hunter, go and grab the ball. You can do that when you're, you're six foot plus. I've, I've never been able to do that, David. But you know what I'm talking about. You're a big guy. You can snag him right out of the air, right, buddy? <laughs> it's all hair, though. That's the problem. Hey, Tim, you know, it's funny. You, you talk about Hunter Henry. Bruins probably the healthiest they've been all season long. Hunter's back from that concussion. Their quarterback situation seems like it's stabilized. I'll tell you, they are playing their best football, and they're, they're the healthiest they've been just at the right time. That's scary for the rest of 5A. It is, but remember, they're still missing their starting running back, but the way they sling the rock around, there was one time during the game when Coach Kelly just yelled, I need a tailback. It really didn't matter which <laughs> tailback. He just he needed any one of them out on the field. So they just rotate. Everyone knows the system extremely well, so you can just plug players in like that, and they can succeed. All right, Kevin Kelly does not miss a beat. You would make a good tailback. little pinball. All right, Eagles kickstart their one to War Memorial against the defending champs of, of 4A. Anyways, Pulaski Academy hosting Bologna. First year in 5A for them. And uh, check this out. Jalen Seals paid for that touchdown. That was nasty. PA up now big, 40-21. Can't spell pass without PA, however. Lawson Bassett airing it out here, and he finds Will Hastings in the sieve. Smooth running from there on out. Bruins up big time now, 47-21. And one last one, because it's not a highlight, without another Vassar touchdown pass. Finds LJ Wallace there easily in the end zone. 55-21 at that point. Pulaski Academy makes it look easy. Bruins get the win. 62-21, your final there. And to Jacksonville, where the Red Devils had the tough task of hosting the ninth-ranked PA Bruins. We begin with a name we'll be hearing for years to come. The future hog, Hunter Henry, takes it in. Can he just play now? Man, getting impatient. PA goes up 15-7 in the second. Surprise, surprise followed by an onside, recovered by the Bruins. It's like they practiced that or something. And you can imagine this one gets ugly real quick. LJ Wallace takes one in and Pulaski Academy goes on to win their regular season finale in a big, big way, 51-7 over Jacksonville.
let's get uh, David's picks here for tomorrow night's action, beginning with the Volonia Eagles at the Pulaski Academy Bruins. Who you got? Going with Pulaski Academy in this one. It just really comes down to the fact the Bruins have better athletes. You've okay. got you, know, you have Lawson Vassar and L.J. Walls. Vassar, the quarterback, L.J. Walls, one of the top receivers in the state. Uh, Tyler Colquitt, and you know he's the linebacker. He paces everything from Kyle Weppel, who's a defense, he's a defensive end, a really good defensive end. Their defense is also very, very good. Yeah. It's, I think it just comes down to the fact that they're just a whole lot better, better athletes. I got PA in this. Not one. to mention Kevin Kelly on the yeah, side. Yeah. And now we head out to downtown Jacksonville. Cool. <laughs> Red Devils welcome the ninth-ranked PA Bruins last night, and making the highlight reel once again, the future Hog. Hunter Henry. Hogs could use some Hunter highlights this season, but they'll have to wait. In traditional PA fashion, that score is followed by an onside kick. Bruins end up falling on it, and when the onsides start falling their way, it's going to be a long night for the other guys, and it was. Pulaski Academy wins their regular season finale in a big way, 51-7 over Jacksonville. The Academy area where it's Bruins and Bears. PA still rocking the pink. Coach nice. Kelly, well, that guy stays coaching. <laughs> Second half, PA up 28-17. Lawson Vassar finds a cutting LJ Wallace there for the 15-yard score. PA up big, 35-17. Now later, Jarius Porter gets in the act. Handoff here. He's almost going to get it done. 30-yard run. And what do you do down there? You throw it to the now Under Armour All-American <laughs> Hunter Henry. That's what you do. He makes it 43-17 at that point, and really no fancy saying for me this time. Simply, Bruins beat the Bears, 57 Why was it not 24. fancy? Are you upset? I am slightly perturbed Bear right now. There.